One of the most common questions we receive here at JDS is what setting should I use for laser bowl leatherette? Specifically, the metallics. Because each laser is different, the best way to find the perfect parameters for you to use is to do the testing on your specific machine. I want to show you a couple ways to find that window of success and a few tips to help along the way. Some general tips to note include starting with a mid to high speed and a low power as it doesn't take much to remove the top layer and expose the thin foil-like layer underneath. If you're seeing the black with the outline of the metallic on your edges of your design, you're using too much power and it's burning that foil layer off. This tells you to back off on the power. The slightest adjustment, including a single percent, can make a big difference. If your power is already very low and you're burning through, then move to adjusting the speed. A lower DPI is also going to help with the consistency of the finished look. This is going to have your laser firing less dots per inch. This can also be referred to as LPI, PPI, or line intervals on different machines. This is going to help broaden that window of success and make going from different items with the same material a smoother transition within your production. We recommend to use our leatherette sheet stock for testing as it gives you a lot of space to fine tune your machine at a low affordable price. It's always a good idea to order a piece or two extra of the item you're using for your order as well. You can create a test grid for this first test. This can be used with all material as it gives you a nice visual of where on your speed and power scale you should be and then fine tune it from there. Depending on your laser's property menu, you can send them with color mapping or you may have to send them individually. Essentially, you're creating a grid and with each column at the same speed and each row different powers. As you can see here, I have this column at my full speed 100% and each square is a different power setting at 10% intervals. The next type of testing you can do if your machine allows is to change the power as you laser a rectangle. It's important to only change one variable at a time. I'll then note my settings and send a vector graphic to ensure these will work for more than just a square swatch. A little testing and machine maintenance can go a long way in your overall workflow and should continue to be done every few months to ensure your laser is performing the same. Getting to know the ins and outs of your lasers can help improve your confidence and get that perfect mark every time, no matter what item or material you come across. For any questions, please feel free to contact us at the number below or visit us online. Happy lasering.